stuff we do is a, a, a big challenge. And just, I take pride in my work. Helping people to to get their power back on, so they can get their life back to the normal day, daily the normal day. Because when the power goes home today, everything shuts down. Our whole electric house, you know, nothing works. The kids start screaming. <laughs> no video, no movies. When we're finished and we throw that last fuse in. And all the we see everybody come back on, you know that's uh that, that that's really rewarding. And just to know that, I mean, for me personally, you know, that, that can't everybody do this kind of work. I mean, it ain't for everybody. I I could understand that if it's late at night and there's no lights, that you could you know you could kind of almost feel disoriented, kind of you know, and your lights aren't on and you're, you know, you're missing your favorite TV show or. Uh, especially around Christmas, I mean, you might just be sitting down at the dinner table. So they're they're glad to see you, and they're glad to you know see you working, and they're all happy. Then I can remember, God, years ago, uh, switching an underground loop with everybody's lights out, and it was real quiet, and uh, it being 12 o'clock midnight, uh, New Year's Eve, and <laughs> you can hear you know you could hear the firecrackers and everything, but you know you're out there working, and you've got a little flashlight and it's dark and there's just a couple of you out there but I can remember stuff like that or uh, uh, even been on call my first Father's Day. It's, it's what we do. It's just what we do. I mean, it's what they pay us to do. So we're kind of used to it. Um, it doesn't really phase most guys to, you know, get to get called and just get up and go. Even if, you know, you've got, you know, you've worked 16, 17 hours or so and then get another call and you just, you just do what you do.